Okay, so you've created your new LMS account and you're looking at a lot of empty screens. Well, ideally, the first thing we'd create would be tags. Percolate uses tags for its organization, reporting, and assigning. For this reason, coming up with good tag names now may be a good idea. Let's go to the Tags tab. Here are all of the tags in your LMS. Let's create some tags to play with. We click the Add New Tag link. Let's call our first tag Managers. We'll imagine this tag will be used to identify the people in our LMS who are managers. Type the name and click the Create button. Now we can see our new Managers tag. Let's repeat the process for another tag. Let's call it New Employees. You can capitalize these tag names if you want. That's up to you. That takes care of our people organization for now. Let's add a third tag. This time let's call it New Hire Training. We'll use this to tag all of the courses intended for our new hires. That's it for now. We'll start using these immediately. Now let's create a course and add some content to our LMS. Click on the Add New button. First, we need to give the new course a title. I'm going to call this course New Employee Orientation. If you like, you can add descriptions to your courses. This is kind of a nice option because learners will see this description when they roll their mouse cursor over the course name before they take it. So feel free to add helpful notes or summaries here. Since I know what tag I want to use to mark this course already, I'm going to do so now. All I have to do is start typing the name of the tag, then click on it in the list, and hit the Add Tag button. OK, now hit the Create button, and the course will be added to the LMS. It's created now, but we still need to add some content before it'll be useful. You can see the Add Content box here at the end of the page. Pick a type of content you want to add. In this case, I'll be adding a SCORE module, which happens to contain my new employee training. Browse to locate the file, in this case a zip archive for SCORM, and click Open. Give the content a title and, optionally, a description. As with the description for the course itself, this will show up when the learner rolls their mouse cursor over this piece of content. OK, then click the Add button. There's our SCORE module. It's now the sole item in this course. You can add as many pieces of content to your course as you'd like. The next thing I'm going to do is add a new person to my LMS so I can test all of this stuff out. I click on the People tab and then the Add New link. All I need to fill in here is the person's name, a username, and an email address. I'll call this person Bob. The email address is required because to be able to log into the LMS, Bob will need to receive his welcome email, which will contain a link allowing him to set his account password. Since I already have a tag with which to tag Bob, tag is both a noun and verb by the way, I'll add it now. I'm going to make Bob a new employee by tagging him with the new employee's tag. I could also add him to my manager's tag. That would make him a new employee and a manager. But I'll just keep things simple here and leave him with just one tag. Just remember, tags become really powerful when you use them in combinations. Both people and courses can belong to multiple tags. Try to make them as semantically meaningful to your organization as you can. OK, now I'll click the Create button to add Bob. He'll be so pleased. So, how do we give our new employee Bob the new employee orientation course so he can learn his way around our company? Through the Assign interface, of course. Click on the Assign tab. OK, at its heart, this page is actually really very simple. You have two columns. On the left side, you have all of your tagged people. And on the right side, you have all of your tagged courses. To assign Bob to the new employee course, I just drag his tagged group, new employees, see Bob Jones there, over to the new hire training group of courses. That's it. Now, Bob, and if there were any other people in the new employees group, them too, is assigned to the new employee orientation course, and also any other courses in the new hire training course group. We can add more people and more courses to these tags, and they'll also be thusly assigned. We never have to return to this interface unless we want to make a completely different assignment. By the way, if we had tagged Bob with the manager's tag, as I had mentioned earlier, he would also show up in a manager's group in this interface and could be assigned other courses independently of the new employees group. 
Hopefully at this point, some ideas for tagging schemes for your own organization are starting to coalesce in your mind. If not, don't worry, you can experiment all you want with tags and assigning. You'll find that they're very flexible and you can delete ones you don't need. Now when Bob logs into the LMS, he will see the new employee orientation course in his course list on the dashboard. He'll also be able to click on the new hire training tag in the dashboard interface to filter courses assigned to him that have been tagged with new hire training. This makes it easy for Bob to find what he needs, so remember, Good tag naming doesn't just help you, it helps your learners too. If this quick start tutorial went too quickly and you'd like to see more in-depth tutorials, please go to the Percolate LMS Help Center at wiki.perclms.com or by clicking the help link in the LMS itself.